What's up? J. Roos Theory. I want to talk about just how good Anthony Joshua looked against Otto Wileen. Beat him so bad, I'm surprised Wileen's people didn't call the cops on him. Beat him bad. Oh, by the way, subscribe, comment, and all that to the J. Roos Theory. You can subscribe to my backup platform at WJ, the world's most dangerous boxing platform. And if you want to contribute to the platform or platforms, my cash app is dollar sign J Roos 33. And if you can't donate, no harm, no foul. I appreciate you watching. Back to the topic. How good is Anthony Joshua? Most credible boxing people out there are saying that Anthony Joshua is back. He looked confident. You could see it in his eyes. He was all business wasn't joking around. I don't think he came to the ring smiling like he sometimes does. And he put in a good performance even when he smiled sometimes. But I like to see more focus like that. You know, you're about to go to war. No smiling <laughs> as I smile. But I think Anthony Joshua just showed that aggressiveness that he used to have, but it was still more, it was still more, um, What's the word I want to use? It was it was an it was a vicious attack he put on Wileen, but it was very tactical at the same time, and I think that's Ben Davison's effect on Anthony Joshua. When Joshua fought Franklin, he was just you know I guess trying to work on some things like a jab, and he was jabbing. Jermaine Franklin's head completely back, just pow. And then you could see Jermaine was getting frustrated, sticking out his tongue and stuff like that. I was like, come on, man, what is that? But, you know, when Joshua stick, he used to stick out his tongue, it'd be when he was winning the fight, Jermaine would do it. Jermaine would do it after he got clocked or something. But I think Anthony Joshua's body head attack was just working great for him. Wileen didn't know where to block. He didn't know where the shots were coming from. You could you could see him just like, like, what did I get myself into? He probably wished he hadn't questioned Anthony Joshua's mental state because he was getting put it on him. He was getting something put on him viciously, I should say. And um it was a it was a beautiful thing to watch Joshua just go in there confident and walk his man down. And um this may make Wileen change his whole camp techniques. It may make him uh, start lifting more weights. You want to look intimidating. I keep saying boxing is mental. You want to look intimidating. You got half the fight won if you look scary. <laughs> Not be scary, but look scary. If you can intimidate the other guy, you got half the fight won. What do you think Mike Tyson would have the dude so scared back when he was fighting? Mike Tyson was like 215, but looking every bit of 250, you know, them dudes was like, oh my goodness. I remember when Mike Tyson was fighting as an amateur, as he was like 12, and they were saying, man, he's the uh, relative of um, Sonny Liston because he looks so ferocious. So why not lift weights? Why not look intimidating? Otto Wileen had no intimidation factor whatsoever, I don't believe, on Anthony Joshua. And that just made Joshua just go in and just get him up out of there. And he sparred with him and beat him in the amateur, so he knew he couldn't hurt him. So I think Joshua, man, stay with Ben Davison. Don't go back to Derrick James. Stay with Ben Davison. This dude seems like a strategist. Doesn't seem to have a big ego. Um, I like what I've seen of him. And that Joshua right there is Joshua 2.0. It's uh, Team AJ all day over here. Not a fanboy, though. There's a difference. If I think something's a bit iffy, like when I said it seems like Joshua's trying to find himself and still, I still think he is, um, he'll be even more dangerous uh, when he gets all that sorted out. But I, I like I said, I thought Usyk was gonna win, and in the rematch, and Usyk did. And I said Andy Ruiz was gonna be a 
his most dangerous fight at the time, and he was the first fight, that is. So I, I'm not going to just uh, say something ignorant because I like Anthony Joshua, but he did really impress me with that victory over Wileen because no one's done that to Wileen. No one's even come close to doing that to him. And Joshua just made him look like a, a average club fighter that had no business being in the ring. And I'm pretty sure, like I said, I don't think Wileen would even want a rematch. He might say it, but I don't think he wants a rematch. What's the point? You're not going to be able to hurt Joshua unless you hit him with a surprise punch, which I don't see. Um, plus the fact Wileen was a, a lefty and still couldn't uh, disturb Anthony Joshua. Joshua just walked him down like, man, please. How good do you think this Anthony Joshua is? Make sure to comment, share, subscribe, and all that stuff. LSR forever, and be fearless. Yay.